everyone, it's Keely for Soy and Shay and thank you for joining me. I had a request on my Facebook page a few weeks ago to make a loaf of soap using pink sugar which has notes of strawberry, raspberry and citrus and it's all on a base of vanilla and white musk. Now because this fragrance oil does turn soap a really dark colour, I am going to do my base soap in black using activated charcoal which is meant to be very good for the skin and we'll be adding some pink highlights as well so let's go get started okay so in this big red bucket here I have my oils which I've bought to room temperature of about 26 degrees and I have my lye water here as well I'm going to pour the lye water down the stick blender give it a quick um, blitz to a very light trace and then I'm going to separate it out for the colours. Um, first jug here I have some cherry blossom from my micro obsession into my next jug I'm going to add some cherry bling now neither of these um, soap um, batters here are going to get any fragrance oil because I want the pink to stay so I'll pop that one in there and then for my big bucket here I have some activated charcoal and I'm going to add that into the big one and then going to blitz it up in and I'm going to pour most of my black in and then we're going to drop swirl some of that pink through it as well. Now my fragrance oils I get them all from Aroma, an Australian company. The reason I choose to use Aroma to do to get my fragrance oils is because they use a company called Lux Aroma who again are an Australian based company and they make all of their own fragrance oils and they're all phthalate free which for me is quite important. I do have the odd fragrance which comes from other places but I always check to make sure that they are phthalate free before purchasing. Now up until recently as a soap maker, candle maker or however you choose to use your fragrance oils it's been very hard here to find much information about them. So you often hear um, American soap makers telling you about the vanillin content and it's that vanillin which affects the colour of your soap and it's just not something that gets published on our fragrance oils over here but recently Aroma have started to publish this information on their website which is really really useful so you can actually plan your soap patterns a lot better this pink sugar type has a massive 10% vanillin, which is why it's going to go a very dark brown colour as it cures. So that pink, um, which has no fragrance, should stay pink, but the black should darken up over time as well. So this will hopefully look pretty and not an ugly shade of brown once, once cured.
some cherry bling mica which I've um, mixed into some olive oil and I'm just going to dribble just a little bit of that over the top and as you can see my plans for how I've drizzled change so let's just come back and add a bit, a bit more down here So that's that one and I've also got some of the cherry blossom mixed up so I'm going to get a little bit of that and it might come back the opposite way. Definitely needs a little bit extra so while I was pouring I was thinking well what else can I add to it and then I remembered I actually have some melt and pour heart embeds that I've already got made up. So. I'm just going to go and grab those. So I've got them here. I made them up for another um, soap, which I then decided they were going to look silly on. So we'll pop them on here instead. So I'm just going to put one heart in the middle. Oh, and not quite yet because that is just way too soft. Right, so these have now set up enough that I can start adding my little melt and pour hearts to the top of them and I think that is just going to finish this soap off just nicely so pop this one in here okay so I do actually feel I want to put some glitter on this one just to really jazz it up so I'm using Bella Glitter from My Micro Obsession and I've put some into one of these spray pumps. Now I bought myself some of the spray glitter spray pumps from Aussie Soap Supplies to see how they go. For anyone that hasn't been able to order from Nurture Soap, this is a comparison of the two next to each other. And I actually ended up paying the same price for each of these, even with the currency exchange on the Nurture Soap and the postage. Um, the Nurture Soap ones do hold a lot more in them, but if you don't want to order from overseas, the little Aussie Soap Supply ones are, are really quite good as well. They have a slightly different nozzle on them. They are more of an airless pump sprayer. Um, so I'm just going to spray some of that over the top. They are very good because they help you control the um, glitter and the bio glitters a lot more than um, just trying to sprinkle on with a teaspoon but if you can or if you are ordering from overseas I highly recommend getting the nurture soap ones okay so here is pink sugar so I will leave it here for about 18 hours and I will come back and cut it and we'll see what we've got on the inside Hey everyone, we are back to cut pink sugar and I must say it is smelling pretty good. I don't usually like the sweet smells. Um, I just find them a bit too false for my liking. But this one, as it's cured overnight, has um, really mellowed out and it's got this beautiful cotton candy sort of smell, and which I absolutely love. So I'm really pleased with how that's toned down. And hopefully we've got some beautiful swirls on the inside here. So just pushing through and I will catch the end. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have. So here's the end piece. And we have that beautiful drop swirl through there and the little heart just to finish it off. The black on there at the moment has got a slightly greenish tinge to it, but I'm pretty confident that over the next few days that is going to really darken up and become a really black sort of colour. So there we go. Alright, so a few months ago I put myself onto Etsy and I set up the little Etsy shop. And I have had a couple of sales on there, so thank you for support on that. I received an email like probably so many Etsy sellers received about their new changes to their website. Now being relatively new to Etsy, I don't really want to go into any of their big packages until I've seen if it works well. 
but they've said that basically if you're not taking one of these extra packages the rates for selling are going to go up so I've been sitting and thinking about it for a long time and I've made the decision to shut that Etsy shop down um, it, I don't get charged those fees to sell on my own website and so far I've only had domestic orders on the Etsy page so I'm going to continue selling through my website. Now with my website I have had a couple of technical issues on there of late and I am now looking to set up a new website which will allow me to have international shipping it will probably take uh, about two or three months to get it set up but hopefully at some point during this year we'll have a shop where we can have international shipping on there and i don't get charged all the etsy fees that means that anyone who's buying that you all get the same price currently on etsy my prices are slightly higher just to cover those fees but i have already had a few complaints about that so i've just made that sort of decision to change over just to leave my website and my Etsy shop will be closing down on the 10th of July. So I hope you have enjoyed watching me make the pink sugar soap. If you did leave me a thumbs up and any comments down be below and I will get back to you um, with any questions and until next week have a good one.